Yeah, make them whole in the make sense that we, we mentioned before, i.e. open them up to their own relations so that they're no longer thought of as strictly contained within their boundaries or encapsulated within themselves, but rather they radiate out beyond themselves. They shine, to use the word that you used from Heidegger. They gleam and shine, and the phenomenality of things, the material colors, the the weightiness of them is allowed to appear in in some way. That phenomenal appearing, that glow of things, streams out past their boundaries and is able to reach us. Yeah. You um, write in, in your thing on trackle, I, I have it underlined here, that um, about shining. This, uh, this shining of things is a shining of their freedom from subordination and objectification. And shining is this phenomenon of surface and limit of things being so essentially defined by exposure and what lies beyond them that they radiate or gleam into that beyond. So this idea that the shining is the phenomenality of surface and limit, and then you you go on to say that there really is on surface, that limit is not where something ends. On the contrary, it's that from which it begins its unfolding into the world. That's right, that's right. And I take that to mean that the thing begins out past itself in the world. The boundary of the thing is not what closes it within itself, but that boundary of the thing is there from from where the thing mixes into the world, is smeared into the world in, in some way, enters into these relations. It's the place from which, the limit is the place from which the thing becomes inextricable from the world. 